Well, hello 1P and welcome to Graphing and Relationships. Our goal today, we want to be able to look at a graph and interpret what is happening. Um, so we just get this kind of feel, even if there's no numbers there, maybe we get a kind of feel of what the graph is all about. So uh, we're going to take a look at this one. This is a graph out of your textbook. Um, it shows the height of the water in a bathtub and we're going to answer the following questions. We're going to answer what happened from C to D and from F to G. So let's just see what's what it's talking about there. From C to D, ooh, right here, and F to G. So we got to figure out those are kind of weird spots going on there um, that would cause the level to change almost instantaneously. What part of the graph shows the actual bath? What is happening from A to B? And when did the person pull the plug? Okay, so. Well, we have to have a look here. This is the height of water in the bathtub. So initially, there's no height of the water. So that means the tub's empty. And then the water increases very, very gradually. Very, very gradually. So I'm inclined to think that they've turned the water on. And it's going up, going up, going up, going up. And then it stops. And it levels off for a little bit. Okay, so obviously they turn the water on and it's filling up the tub. So it gradually gets deeper. Here they shut the water off and it rests for a small period of time. We don't know how much time because there's no scale on here, but for a small period of time the height of the water is unchanged. And then suddenly it goes whoop. So what the heck would happen to make the height of the water just go voop almost instantaneously because that's a that's a there's no time passing as it goes from this height to this height when it goes straight up and down it shows absolutely no time passing um, so what do you suppose that means and then it stays at the same height again for a while and for a while staying at the same height same height same height and then it goes down slowly 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 and then voop it drops and then it continues to go down slowly, slowly, slowly again. And this whoop, it drops again. It's almost an instantaneous difference in the height. Well, here, let me give my interpretation of what's going on here. Okay, they fill up the tub. Tub's filling up. Boop, 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 filling up till you get to B. And then they let it sit for a minute or two. Maybe they're arranging their towels, getting their um, tub toys all lined up in a row. Okay, and then they step in and sit down. So when you sit down in a bathtub, the tub goes voop up very quickly. The water goes from not so deep to a little bit deeper, uh, depending on how much water you're displacing. So it depends on how big you are as well. Uh, a little kid displaces a whole lot less water than a grown up. So then we um, sit and we sit and we sit. So here's the bath. This is where there's a lot of time passing and the height stays the same. So we're just bathing. Obviously, we're not splashing too much because if we were splashing a lot, then the height would go down. Um, so here we're just kind of chilling, having a nice little bath. Uh, now, I think this is where the plug is pulled because the height starts to change very gradually. So they've pulled the plug and the water's starting to go down, 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 and then voop it drops suddenly. So same as over here it went up really suddenly when someone sat down in the tub now this person has stood up and they're getting out. So this drops almost instantaneously. That's what a vertical line means. A vertical line means instantaneous change because no time has passed. When you go from F to G, F to G are right on top of each other so they're both at the same time. So it's an instantaneous change. And then it's going out, going out, going out, going out, going out. Now, a couple of things that when I look at this, I get a feel for. First of all, uh, it takes a lot longer for the water to leave the tub than it did for the water to go into the tub. So the drain must not flow out at the same rate as the tap flows in. And we can notice that a couple of different ways on the graph. The first way we can take a look and say, well, this the tub is emptying over a longer period of time. If I put this over here, 
the time d difference here while the water is emptying is a lot bigger than the time difference here when the water is filling. Okay. The other way I can see that on the graph is the steepness of the line. A steeper line shows that things are changing faster. So if the, wa if the line is steeper, and obviously this is steeper than these ones, and these two are at about the same steepness, so we can tell that, that the water is decreasing at about the same rate in both of these things. Um, since they're at the same level of steepness, or they're what we would call parallel lines. Okay, so it's decreasing at the same rate. So this is the drain taking the water out of there. Now, let's see if we can actually answer the questions now that I've talked through this bathtub portion. Um, so I'm going to put words on the graph. Here is uh, tap filling up. Here, um, that is, uh, we've shut the water off, so at B we shut the water off, so the water sits for a bit. Uh, this instantaneous change is a person sits down. From D to E is the actual bath because there's a lot of time passes and not a lot of change. Um, we pull the plug here. Pull plug. And when the plug is pulled there, then the water starts to drain. And then right here, the person gets out. Person stands up. And then here, the water is continuing to drain. Okay, so those are all the things that happen on this graph. So what happened from C to D and F to G that would cause the water level to change almost instantaneously? That is the bather getting in and out of the tub. What part of the graph shows the actual bath? Well, we decided that was from D to E. What is happening from A to B? Uh, A to B, well, the tub is filling. Whoa, what's going on here? This is misbehaving. Tub is filling. And what's the next question? It says, when did the person pull the plug? The person pulled the plug at E. And there, we've answered all of those questions by analyzing what's going on here. So what do each of these kind of things, how do you read a graph? Straight lines mean constant change. And although we didn't see it, if you have a curved line, sometimes, depending on how steep the curve is, and a curve can have steepness, depending on how steep the curve is, um, sometimes things are changing faster than others. So your speed is either increasing, in the case of a curved line, this would mean, and I'm going to jump down here, curved lines mean that things are changing. So this would mean things are changing more rapidly. So if you were talking about speed, you go faster and faster and faster and faster. So it shows acceleration. Uh, or if it curves back the other way, you start off steep and then it gets less steep as you go along. So it shows deceleration. So curve lines mean um, changing change or non-uniform change. And that could mean acceleration or deceleration. Okay. 
Now, the steeper the line, the greater the change. Or the faster the change. Horizontal lines mean no change. If it stays the same, if it's all on the horizontal like the bathtub, when there was no change in height, we had the horizontal line going across there. And vertical lines mean instant change. You can't get any steeper than a vertical line. Can't get any steeper than a cliff. Okay, Vertical lines mean instant change. Now you have some things to um, to work on, some questions to work on, but I've also given you this. Now this is the thinking task. Um, this is an assignment rather than a thinking question on the test. So it is due the day you write the Unit 3 test. So you need to do this and bring it with you the day you write the Unit 3 test. You are going to write me a story about Mary and Carolyn's bicycle trip. So Mary and Carolyn set out for a bicycle trip. The distance time graph shows their progress as they reach their destination. So you're going to tell me a story. Now I it could be a play-by-play -play sports cast. So you could say, oh, it's the day of the big race. Mary starts off going strong. Carolyn, where is Carolyn? She hasn't shown up yet. An hour has passed and Carolyn is still just starting the race. Something along those lines. Could be a play-by-play. -play. What it has to do is you have to tell me how Mary and Carolyn relate to each other. You have to tell me what's going on in each leg of the race that represents the different change. Remember, a steeper line represents greater change than a more shallow line. A horizontal line represents no change. Now, the reason this is a dotted line is so that you can tell the difference between Mary and Carolyn. If you print this out in color, you'll be able to see it um, a lot better than if you print it out in black and white. Okay. So, take a look at the description here. It says, details you should include. Times when they were together, times when they were apart, where they were stopped or where they were going faster or slower, possible events explaining the different sections of the graph. Okay, maybe, and I don't want you to use these, but say maybe Carolyn slept in. Maybe Mary and Carolyn were set to go somewhere and Carolyn didn't start off in time because she slept in an extra hour, something along those lines. So you have to give me some sort of an explanation and do it as creatively as possible. This is one of the few times in math class you get to show off that uh, creativity in writing styles and stuff like that. So if you're a person that likes to write stories, this is a um, good job for you. Uh, references to time and distance. So you can say when they were 40 kilometers away what happened? Uh, when they were 50 kilometers away what was going on? How long did it take them to get to their destination? And remember this is distance from home. So they start off at zero, they both start off at home and they end up up here somewhere but they're not quite at the same spot because they're going at different rates. Whatever. Okay, so, uh, and comparisons and contrasts. So, how does Mary compare to Carolyn at different points during the journey? Um, and why? Give me some details. Okay. Uh, write, your, write a creative story and use all of the information in the graph. I should be able to, if I don't have this graph handy, I should be able to read your story and actually redraw this graph. That's what I should be able to do. You should be able to tell me where all of these points, um, the changing points occur and what's happening between them. And if you can calculate the speed that they're going at different points, if you can actually make that calculation, and we're going to do that in the next unit more than this one, but if you can actually make a calculation of the speed that they're traveling at different points during this, that would really impress me. Uh, remember, speed is in kilometers per hour. Okay, so that is due on the day that you write the Unit 3 test. And that's the conclusion of this video.